Hi, this is Bill Steele with 3D Chameleon, and I thought I'd do a quick little uh, video on the Ender 3 V2 with the 3D Chameleon Mark III in the advanced, uh, uh, advanced installation, which is the extruder replacement mode, where we act as the extruder, and uh, with the 3D Clippy on here. So what you see there is a classic Ender 3 V2, so we have our electronics on the back side here. You can see those mounted right there. Uh, we have removed the stock extruder. We have added the 3D Chameleon up here. We're using our standard uh, top mount and zip ties. And that's feeding down into our classic Y adapter. And then the Y adapter is feeding down into the 3D Clippy, which is the lever arm that cuts the filament off, very similar to the Bamboo Labs uh, filament cutter inside of their unit. And the way this one works is actually really simple. Let me raise the Z up a little bit there. So what happens is, is when you want to cut the filament, you just move the filament or the x-axis all the way over here, and then you rehome it, and that resets it. And that would have effectively cut off the filament inside of the hot end. The idea there is that you never have to worry about tip shaping, tips swelling up or anything like that. It just simply slices it off and uh, leaves it in the hot end. Now typically what I'll do is I will back it out to just before the cutter, slice it so that there's only a few last, you know, few millimeters remaining of the old filament. Um, and then you'll just purge that in your normal purge process. Um, and that way, when you do cut it off, um, you, you, you only need to remove the bad portion of the filament, which is typically going to be the last five to 10 millimeters. So that is a very simple installation. Oh yeah. Here's the switch on the front. And this one just triggers when the build plate moves forward. And uh, I have the wires tucked underneath here and they go into the electronics case. And then all the wires come out at the, in the one bundle going up to the top or going to the electronics. So, very nice setup. Very simple installation mm -hmm. too, very quick to do. And we have a profile for this, so if you set the switch in our position there, uh, you should have uh, no configuration necessary for it to run. Thanks for watching.